So the last thing we did um, was that a, uh, I, w I just got um, the general manager of a joint venture between my company and GE, two very different cultures, um, very different cultures. Mm -hmm. And um, How are they different? Well, we knew that, so they're almost like the difference between Dean and me. <laughs> Now that's different. <laughs> yeah, very different. So Parker, my company, very analytical, very slow to decide. Everything has to be right. You know, you don't want to make mistakes. Um, you know, it's, uh, you got to get everybody involved. You know, everybody has to be lined up before you do anything correct. You don't want to step out of line. GE is just the opposite. It's full of really boisterous extroverts that value quick decision making. Um, they value, you know, breaking the ice, you know, making decisions that throw people off. So we brought those two cultures together in a joint venture. We came in there, I think it was me and a guy named Jim who worked with us at the time. So we did interviews of, yeah. uh, well, not senior leaders, but we had mid-level leaders all the way down to four supervisors, Super, I think you yeah, call them, yeah. about 40 interviews, and it was just phenomenal. So it was actually three cultures, I believe. Yeah. You had GE, you had Parker, and then you had the local Clyde yeah. employee base. That's true. And they were three separate value sets all coming together. And so senior leaders who had the money didn't live in Clyde. They had to drive in an hour, and those who were in that area sort of felt like, how come you're not coming to our kids' baseball games? I mean, that's the yeah. family that they were created. Mm -hmm. So here you had yeah. highly analytical, highly sales-driven, transactional, and then you had family all coming together. It's like, but then later you had me come back and do our social styles uh, activity right. where we had really everybody, not just management, but also four people coming together and they did this, um, our social styles assessment where you get to understand your, 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 your style preference and how you like to communicate, make decisions and so forth. One of the things that was interesting was mapping out every individual, but then you had a brilliant thought was, let's take a look at breaking it down into Parker versus GE. Yeah. And then what did you discover at that point? And that's where it became really clear that we have different cultures, different propensities, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be reacting to different overriding um, value systems.